Yeah. It's on now. It's on now. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for a long time. Oh, saying squats was good, your boy Ralphney. And this is it. Another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot video. You brought this upon yourself, Frieza. Though I have to admit, I didn't see it ending quite like this. Cause you say it. Oh. I'm going to make my way back to Earth. You can stay here and suffer the same fate as this planet. I thank you. P please have mercy. Please have mercy. I thank you. Ah, shit. I How can you beg for mercy? How many people begged you for mercy before you slaughtered them? How many? I beg you. I've given you just a little bit of my energy. That's all you get. You're on your own. The mortal enemies known as Frieza and Goku had once fought to the death on the planet Namek. During their epic showdown, Goku's anger triggered something. It awakened the Super Saiyan transformation, which helped him defeat the terrible tyrant, Frieza. With Goku having defeated Frieza, it was believed the two fighters would never again cross one another's paths. But that was not the case. Having been brought back to life with the use of Earth's Dragon Balls, Frieza lived once again. He now sought vengeance against the Saiyan who'd humiliated him. Determined to exact his revenge, Frieza gathered his forces, also brought back using the Dragon Balls, and set out to accomplish his new mission. Ah, shit. In preparation for the battle, Frieza subjected himself to intense training and attained immense power. Mere moments before the Frieza Force were to arrive on Earth. <laughs> the time for vengeance has finally arrived. Now then, let's pay Goku's beloved Earth a visit, shall we? Been waiting for a long time for this. I ain't played Dragon Ball Z Kakarot for like, for like a while, like months. The reason I stopped because I was waiting for the DLC for next for the next more mission. And let's play. This. Goku and Vegeta continue their own intense training under the watchful eyes of Whis on Beerus's planet. The two warriors are eager to push the Super Saiyan God form to even greater heights. I believe that will do for today. I must say, you two have made considerable progress with respect to movement, but your speed still needs work. Still needs work? You're still relying far too much on your head. This habit is especially strong with you, Vegeta. <laughs> you really do like to overthink everything, Vegeta. Shut up! You're only thinking less because you're an idiot! <laughs> Perhaps you've noticed, but you always manage to be one step behind Goku. Do you know why that is? You're far too tense, making it more difficult for you to fight at your full potential. You need to relax more, like Goku. 
You just had to bring that up, didn't you? Goku, you, on the other hand, are overconfident. Let your focus waver and you're doomed to fail. What? We'll work on conquering these shortcomings of yours as we continue your training. All right, just gotta focus. Focus, focus, focus. Well, I think that's enough rest for now, wouldn't you agree? Shall we continue your training? Yeah! As the two of you have unique needs in your training, what do you say we do this one at a time? You got it! You know, I actually prefer doing it this way. <laughs> you won't get any complaints from me! Oh my, you two really don't get along, do you? I can't imagine why that is. Now then, let's start things off with you, Goku. Woohoo! Too bad for you, Vegeta! <laughs> Makes no difference. Go ahead, I'm gonna surpass you anyway. Alright, what's good? What's the train? This is awesome! I'm gonna get loads stronger! Ah, shit, I need to heal first. There, now I'm ready. What's up? What's up, Whis? Very well. I should warn you that the difficulty of your training will ramp up significantly. <laughs> You're only making me more excited! <laughs> Marvelous. This is the regimen I prepared for you. Ha! Ah, I got 200. 200 already. Now then, let's have you break through the walls of the from you. You know, I don't really feel like I've gotten that much stronger. I bet Lord Beerus could still kick my butt. Indeed, you're far from ready to best him. However, if you were to push the godly power you've attained even further, you could increase your odds. Seriously? You're gonna teach me how I can do that, right, Whis? I am indeed. I really admire your positive attitude. Perhaps that is the true source of your power. <laughs> Once you're ready, willing, and able to resume your training, please do come find me immediately. Okay, we'll do, Whis. To ultimate sacred water. <laughs> All right, let me take one right now. All right, let me go ahead and take one. All right. Are you ready to begin your training? Exactly. Beyond the Super Saiyan God. Don't become overconfident and don't give your opponents no time. Failure to foster one's defense is a weak of disaster. Be aware of your surroundings. <laughs> Which you're learning is impressive, Goku. <laughs> you and your friends are Goku, you seem capable of visualizing that which lies beyond Super Saiyan God. Yeah, I think I can figure out the rest on my own. On to the next uh, task. Now we need to ensure that we can bring Vegeta up to your level. After all, it's absolutely paramount that both of you increase your strength and power right now. 
Right. Couldn't agree more. And I think Vegeta's gonna be just fine. He'll probably master this new power in no time. He's just that good, you know? Three? Okay. Vegeta, it's your turn, man. Constantly leaving me in the dust. After Whis is training, I'll be number one. Right, now let's get started. Mark my words, my days living in Kakarot's shadow are over. <laughs> this is the regimen I prepared for you. Wonderful, isn't it? Now, let's have you wait for the wall to wait yourself a genius and I dare say it's not mere hubris <laughs> I still haven't reached yours or Lord Beerus's level I won't be satisfied until I do you always have your nerves wound up in a bunch this tension will prevent you from acting when you need to find a way to oh, conquer shit. this shortcoming and you'll no doubt push your godly power even further than you thought possible <laughs> once you're ready to resume your training Please promise to come and find me immediately. Fine. I've got it. Alright, I got two two sacred waters as well. We need we need more. We need more energy for Jita. Or for Jita and for Goku. Mostly for Vegeta, because Goku had way more power than him. There you go. All right, I'm ready. ready to begin your training. Mm. Let's do it. Your Vegeta, 
You seem capable of visualizing that which lies beyond Super Saiyan God. My goal is clearer than ever. All that remains now is to put this new power the two of you have attained to the test and see what you can really do. Goku and Vegeta, more determined than ever to push themselves even further, continued their training with Whis. In the end, the two Saiyans had managed to successfully achieve a wonderful and new power. You're both here! Excellent. Yep, let's get right into it while it's all still fresh in my mind. The time has come to find out if you've actually attained a power that goes beyond a god, Kakarot. <laughs> I very much look forward to seeing the fruits of your labor, gentlemen. Let's go. Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Man, this form takes a lot out of me. Even more than Super Saiyan God. It's probably because we've become Super Saiyans while in our godlike state. Still, this power is incredible. Mm. Look at that. Your efforts have finally paid off. <laughs> Though, it looks like we can't stay in this form for very long. Which means we haven't completely mastered it yet. You two have really surprised me. I must admit, I wasn't expecting you to reach this level in such a short period of time. You know, I'm pretty surprised too, if I'm honest. I had no idea I could go beyond Super Saiyan God. <laughs> You're not the only one who pulled it off. Seems your days at the top might be numbered. Indeed. You two have both managed to become Super Saiyans with the power of Super Saiyan Gods! Hmm, that's a rather cumbersome way of putting it. Let's see, your hair becomes blue while in this form, so perhaps Super Saiyan Blue would be more suitable. Super Saiyan Blue, huh? Ow. Now that you've achieved this power, I think all that remains is to put said power to the test. I want you to engage me in battle using all of your power. Up for it? This should help you come to terms with your new form. Let's go. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Magnificent. Well now, let's begin. Phenomenal. It seems the Super Saiyan Blue form is becoming second nature to the pair of you. Should the two of you learn to work together, I dare say you could possibly go toe to toe with even the likes of Lord Beerus. Ah, oh, God. Oh, really? Well, to tell you the truth, I'd much rather fight him by myself. <laughs> I'm the one taking Lord Beerus down, and I'll do it without your help. 
Oh, bother. This intense rivalry between you two is proving most troublesome. So, Whis, could you maybe train me some more? I really want to master this Super Saiyan Blue power. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. What? I'm not going to let you hog all of Whis's time. I'm training too. Uh, at least you two see eye to eye on something. Very well. Let's press onward, shall we? Meanwhile, on Earth, Gohan's calm, carefree life was interrupted when he was summoned by Piccolo to engage in some grueling training. <sighs> All right, take a breather. Whew. I haven't done anything this intense in a long time. You're a lot sloppier than before. Seems like these peaceful times have made you soft. Yeah, sorry about that. It's just... My mom keeps giving me a hard time about my studies. <laughs> huh. I don't care about your studies. You can't neglect your training. That's the one thing you should never skimp on. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'll try to work some into my schedule when I can. We're getting right back into it after this break, and it won't be nearly as easy as... Huh? Huh? <laughs> what was that? S some sinister energy is making its way here. It... It can't be him, can it? Yeah, I know this energy all too well. I said it's Frieza. The large source of energy Gohan and Piccolo sensed belonged to none other than Frieza and his men. That's right. Frieza had finally made his arrival to the planet Earth. I've waited far too long for this moment. That said, it seems I have a little time to kill before Goku makes his arrival. Perhaps I should have some fun while I wait. <laughs> Unbeknownst to Gohan and Piccolo, they weren't the only ones who sensed the arrival of Frieza and his menacing troops. Krillin, Tien, and the others, sensing the sudden appearance of an evil energy, made their way to Gohan and Piccolo's location. A lot of energy levels are cropping up all over the place. They're on the move. Yeah, we better hurry after them. Yeah, there's a lot of them. We'll have to split up and handle each group separately. Got it. Ah, uh, they're not even higher levels, but I'm choose. I'm, but if I had to choose, I think I'll choose Goten. I'll choose Goten and Kid Trunks. Go. Phase four and Piccolo's team. Piccolo will be going with Krillin and maybe Tien. Wait, wait, I, I got, oh, I accidentally clicked no. Oops. Goten and Trunks. Krillin and Tien. There. Let's go. They're more powerful than we originally thought. Stay sharp. Right. Yeah. And so the fight with the Frieza Force had officially begun. With Piccolo sign? Aye. Yeah, I'm moving all over the place. Time to put a stop to this. All of these goons are packing some serious power. Well, well, Sans Squads, I'm gonna save this one for part two of this video. So thank you guys. So I'm gonna upload this video and we get I get 
do a uh, like a part two of this episode. So, see you for part two.